my name is John Lin Wang from Georgia Tech. I'd like to give a, a short lecture on the principle of photonics. Maybe a terminology you rarely hear about it. In our research, in the last few years, we have created a number of fields called piezotronics, piezophototronics, and uh, piezophotonics. What is this uh, about? This piezoelectric effect for photonic purposes. This idea came in as discussed this coupling between semiconductor, piezoelectric, photonic excitation, there's three problems together. Some materials do exist this three problems. For example, carbon nitride, zinc oxide. And the common between piezoelectricity and photon excitation is called piezophotonic effect. And uh, this effect was realized just recently. And uh, what it's about is it use piezoelectric generated field excited photon emissions. The sample we start with is zinc sulfide particles. For zinc sulfide nanoparticles, when it's small, it has a water structure, it has piezoelectricity. And this zinc sulfide particles dope with magnesium. So therefore, made in a polymer into a composite, no electric wire are connected. It's just a thin film. And you press this film. You press this film, you have light emission. And the light intensity increases with the force you apply here. Force applied. With the increased force, the emission intensity increases, but no shift in the wavelength. We increase the force, the emission intensity also increases, but they have a critical value here. And this is the intensity emission as the pressure applied. You can see this aspect of the field, no wires attached. Then use the pencil or pen to write on anything that scrub the surface here, you have light emission. Light mission can directly dis display on monitor here, so it can record the 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 the, 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 the graphics you 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 wrote. You wrote. You see the graphics you wrote here? Because the emission intensity is proportional to the force you apply, so this can record the way you write these letters. Not only record the graphics, but also record the speed and the pressure you apply when you write these characteristic characters, and which is a unique. Uh, advantage for this. Why do we have photon emission on the excitation of uh, this mechanical agitation? Well, we suggest a mechanism. If you have a zinc uh, sulfur particle here, yeah. which is doped with magnesium, they have a doping state. This is the uh, point defect doping here, doping state. This doping state introduce some of these defect states in the conduction and balance band. If you apply a mechanical strain, piezoelectric charge appears across the nanoparticle. That piezo charge, let's say negative here, positive here, produces a field which can tilt the band, the conduction band and the balance band being tilted to some angle. In such a case, now if you have the electrons that be trapped by the surface state or defect state, or those defect states can be detrapped to vacuum states here. Then the trap electron can fall in the whole state, give you additional energy. But this additional energy does not emit as photons. Instead, this energy being absorbed by the uh, dopant elements of magnesium. Excite the electron from A state to T state. Excite the electron from A state. But this electron can fall back to the A state, give you orange color emission. So if you increase the force applied, you increase the, pi the piezo charge here, you increase the degree at which the band is being tilted. You increase the popularity of the trapped electrons. So more electrons, more energy released, more energy released, each one is a quantum excitation, give you orange light. More, more energy here, give you more photon excitation, but at the same wavelength. That's why you see the increase in the orange color as you saw here. So this is we suggest as a basic mechanism of the piezo photonics here. You divide this one, you can record the graphics you sign later. You can also record the force or pressure you use to apply this one. This is very unique. You can be able to do high resolution uh, uh, personality recognized signature utilize this piezo photonic effect and which can have some interesting application for some purposes here.
So this is the piezophotonic effect. The first time we realized the piezophotonic effect was in the review we wrote in 2008. That time, in a paragraph, I wrote, the traffic charge can drop from the valence surface state back to the valence band, possibly result in photon emission. This process is proposed as the piezoelectric induced photon emission effect, piezophotonic effect, until 2014 and 2015, the first observation was done by the Tianhua uh, Hao uh, at uh, uh, Hong Kong, and also laid up by our group in the Beijing Institute Nano Energy Nano System. And those papers prove that this effect it does exist. It's called the piezophotonic effect, and more study remain in the future. So, summarize again. We feel the areas here. This is the piezophotonic coupling between piezoelectricity and photon excitation. Piezoelectricity into the photon excitation can be a new and interesting field which remains to be studied in the future. Thank you very much.